Should we look at this? Deals closing this month? Yeah. I mean, it's a nice follow-on. Yeah, yeah, it is, actually. It is. So, because all of the, the charts that this tells us about the size of the pipeline, this tells us these trends tell us about the size of the pipeline, this tells us about the size of the pipeline, we've talked about the size of the pipeline here. But what about the quality of the pipeline? Um, yes. This, <laughs> yes. This, this particular chart, and this is the chart that's included in the, in the dashboard package. So this is deals that are due to close this month. Now, you can run this dashboard chart. You could run it for all deals in the pipeline. You could run it for all deals this quarter, whatever time period you want. We've chosen in this example to run it for deals due to close this month. Now, what's it telling us? It's giving us three metrics. It's telling us how long the deal has been open. So um, from, from the, when it was initiated to, to, to today, how many days has it been open? Secondly, it's telling us the number of days since the last stage change. So it's telling us the number of days there. And this column here is telling us how many times the close date has moved from one month to the next month or to another month. So it's not counting changes within a month. We're probably not too worried if it slips a day or a week or whatever. We're interested in changes where it, it switches from one month to another month or to a future month actually yeah um there's you know first off what i'm seeing here is i'm, I'm concerned about the barclay school of music opportunity gary and i I'm, was that then? well i'm <laughs> i'm concerned because it's had its close date shifted four times and it's yep. been open for yep. 201 yep. days you know that doesn't look to me like it's going to be closing this month dan bailey are you seriously telling me that this month that deal will close i i I don't think it will, Gary. Yes, exactly. So, you know, I 100% agree. I mean, we can look at a few. We've got the one that's been open um, 187 days. So, you know, what's that best part of, of half a year? Um, it hasn't had the stage change for over 100 years. It slipped four times. So bear in mind, these are deals that in our pipeline, if we go back to this one, in our pipeline, they are in here. Yeah. They are in here due to close this month that's a concern for me yeah and you see it time and time again that you have a great pipeline everybody thinks that we are going to be on target um there might be deals in there that are due to close on the last day of the month and guess what happens on the first of the month we think um uh, i was going to use a naughty word there but we think oh x yeah we missed our sales target all of that pipeline just shifted from one month to another well how do you get a grip of that and this to my mind is a very powerful way of getting a grip to it so there's an underlying report that shows you all of the, all of the deals due to close this month the table shows you the top 10 but just immediately as you as you say Dan, just immediately focuses your eye on some of these deals you think hold on a minute maybe that deal that that school of music deal maybe that is going to close this month maybe maybe and this that's is fine the... maybe it is the month but maybe it's also one of those those kind of zombie deals that's been there uh, for ever in a day so it's a great way i think the, the the kind of pipeline by created date looking at some of these opportunities a way to investigate you know as a starting point some of those but this is really getting down to the nub of it in my opinion yeah i use those in conjunction with one another to yeah. really kind of understand this absolutely absolutely